Welcome to Midas Minds, and this is where we turn thoughts, passions, and ideas into gold. And I'm Tyrant333, giving you a lot of great information here on the channel. We're here to enlighten you. We're here to inspire you. We're here to guide you on this entrepreneurial journey that, you know, it's easy for some of us. For others, uh, others we have our struggles. So here we are. We're going to tap into this. You know, everyone dreams of financial freedom, but the path to achieving it requires strategy, patience, and a well detailed plan at the end of that it also takes some discipline we'll be exploring the top wealth building strategies that pave the way to long-term success whether you're starting from scratch or looking to expand your wealth these strategies are proven to help your financial goals remember the mind is powerful let's tap in and let's get started the first one is investing in the stock market as i've mentioned in previous videos this is a way that you can start building that wealth one step at a time and I'm going to give you the detail and the blueprint of how to do that. And the first part of that is, you know, just knowing that the stock market is the most accessible way to build long term wealth. Historically, stock investments have outpaced inflation, making them a reliable vehicle for financial growth. But this isn't about day trading or speculation. It's about long term, consistent investing. Start with e index funds and EFTs. Index funds and exchange traded funds allow you to invest in a broad, basket of companies reducing risk while providing exposure to the overall market for beginners this is an easy low-cost way to start investing so index funds that's like getting a portion a share of a market like the s p 500 the nas 100 uh, those are company those markets are always replaced by the next top company so there will always be an opportunity in those markets and it's a good way to get a, a nice guaranteed as close to guaranteed as the markets can be return on your investment the next thing they always say is go for blue chip stocks or stocks with companies that are doing a lot of volume and they're companies that have been around for a long time and they have a nice track record of paying out dividends to their stockholders for instance investing in a large well-established company some of them are like coca-cola apple microsoft uh, Johnson & Johnson, they've proven themselves as long-term performers and that they're going to be in this market and stay in this market. They're not a new company that there's a lot of speculation about and you don't know if you know the risk is going to be worth it at the end of the day. If you have extra money, I still advise to take those risks, take those shots because that's where you get the big, uh, the big payouts. And knowing the, com the power of compound growth. The real secret of the stock market success lies in compound growth. Over time, your investments generate returns and those returns generate more returns. This snowball effect can turn even small investments into substantial wealth if given enough time. And know how to dollar cost average. Investing in a fixed amount at regular intervals is known as dollar cost averaging. This approach helps you avoid trying to take the time and time the market and smooths out the effect of volatility. So average, you know, dollar cost averaging, learning about compound growth, making an investment that starts to make more and more interest off that one investment. That's another way to gain wealth in this world. Stock market re rewards patience and consistency. By staying invested over the long term, you benefit from both market growth and the reinvestment of dividends. And the next one I've talked about on this channel before, too. And this is a good step to building wealth is acquiring real estate, property, land. There's a lot of things you can do with this. It's the oldest and most proven method of building wealth. It pro uh, provides multiple avenues of income, has the added benefit of being a tangible asset, something you can see, touch and manage. The first part of that is the rental income, Airbnbs, multifamilies, commercial units where you can rent out to people for various services. I've even seen trucking locks going out. Uh, for people who have lots of land, they pay it out and they get it zoned or however they get it done to properly be able to let 18 wheelers stay there and rest their trucks there or leave their trucks there whenever they need to. So that's a good one. Uh, storage units, you see those. You can earn monthly cash flow while your property appreciates over time. So that's kind of double dipping on the profit and the wealth building there. Start small by purchasing a small single family home or multi-unit properties. Leverage for greater returns. Unlike stocks, real estate allows you to use leverage. You can purchase a property with a small down payment and finance the rest. 
over time as property values increase your initial investment grows exponentially so always think about that also that's another great way is leveraging for the turns that come in the future real estate is one of the only things that seems to continue to appreciate over time and to have some massive jumps like i was telling you from the people who bought in 2018 to 2019 to now their homes are probably appreciated a lot and then there's real estate investment trusts or reits if owning physical property sounds overwhelming consider reits these are companies that own operate or finance income producing real estate by purchasing shares of R reit you earn dividends from real estate without managing properties yourself house flipping for quick profits another strategy is buying undervalued properties renovating them and selling for a profit this is the the house flipping game or the wholesaling game that's that's in a whole nother market but while riskier than buy and hold strategies house flipping can generate significant significant returns if you have a good company that is willing to help you turn these properties around and work with you on that so there's the real estate there that provides the ongoing cash flow but also has the potential for massive appreciation over time the next way and I like to feed my entrepreneurs here. I like to make a light bulb go off in that head and start a scalable business. Entrepreneurship is a powerful wealth building strategy. If you let it, you do it the right way. Scalable business allows you to grow without being constrained by time, resources, or location. And this is what we're meaning by a scalable business. Not just a business. You have to trade your time for money. Digital process uh, products and e-commerce is a great way to let your business grow over time. With the rise of technology, it's easier than ever to sell digital products like courses, eBooks, apps. And once created, these products can sold, be sold infinitely without any overhead. It's a beautiful thing. Find something that you can sell over and over and over again. Like we talked about on some of these platforms, TikTok sh shop, a uh, YouTube shop. And then there's also uh, there's also Shopify that's out there that a lot of people are selling things on and have a subscription model. You get enough subscribers here on YouTube, you can start getting subscriptions yourself for different things you might have. You know, merchandise, books. Uh, might People just want might want to have insect, inside access to what you talk about, the Insiders Club. Some people might want to speak to you directly and some people might just want to support you and they're going to subscribe to whatever service you have going on because they love what you're doing. And the next one is to outsource and automate. Stop trading your time for money. Stop overextending yourself. Stop spreading yourself too thin. Focus on automating business process and outsourcing tasks. And automation tools can handle marketing, customer service, and even product fulfillment, freeing up your time to focus on scaling. The key to successful entrepreneurship is creating a business that grows without needing to constantly trade your time for money. Think of businesses that can operate on their own, generating income around the clock. And that's where you want to get yourself at. And that's the most powerful place an entrepreneur can be. And now we're going to go into compound interest, which a lot of people like to call it the eighth, eighth wonder of the world, the silent wealth builder. And for good reason, it's the process where your investment earns interest. And then that interest earns even more interest in creating exponential growth over time. Start early for maximum impact. The earlier you begin saving and investing, the more time your money has to grow. Even small contributions can lead to significant sums over time. And don't get fooled and caught up in thinking that investing is a rich man's game. Invest at where you're comfortable at, where your budget is at, and let that thing grow over time. The, the key there is consistency. Consistency. Continue to do that over and over again until you get more and more funds and continue to grow. And you'll watch that thing do wonders for you. And have retirement accounts for tax advantage growth like 401ks, Roth IRAs, those allow your investments to grow tax-free over time, accelerating the compound growth process. Stay consistent even when the market continues to fluctuate. Consistency is key. The longer you remain invested, the more powerful the compounding effect becomes. Missing just a few years of compounding can have a huge effect on your end balance. And another last one I like to throw in there is life insurance. It's a powerful tool to make sure your wealth goes to your family untouched tax-free to your family when you pass it also has that cash accumulation wealth building factor compounding interest making your money work for you um, at a usually a higher rate than some of these 401ks and iras and invest invested in with the stock market like the s p 500 and the nas it's a powerful tool to also not only have your wealth intact when you pass but to be able to use that for emergency funds uh college down payments 
for your kids, down payment on a house, things of that nature. Life insurance can be very powerful too uh, to keeping your legacy intact. Next, let's talk about tax efficiency. Keeping your money in your pocket, keeping your wealth intact, keeping more of what you earn and not giving it away to the IRS. Like I know a lot of us, we dread that moment when that tax day comes, we gotta hit our accountant to start getting stuff in order. It, oh, it ain't fun <laughs> for none of us. Building wealth isn't about just making money, it's about keeping it. Tax efficiency is a crucial yet often overlooked part of wealth building. Capital gains versus ordinary income. Let's talk about that. When you hold investments for more than a year, your quality for lower tax rates or you qualify for lower tax rates on capital gains. This can significantly reduce the tax you pay on profits. So, you know, you see these holding companies out here holding the property they just bought. They don't want to get rid of it immediately because that's they don't they don't want to. They're trying to avoid capital gains there. They don't want to get that huge tax that they could by just holding on to it for a little while and selling it a year down the road or so. Maximize retirement contributions. Use tax advantage accounts like 401ks, IRAs, and Roth IRAs to shield your income from taxes while growing your investment. Employers match contributions on essentially free money. Don't leave that on the table. And then there's real estate tax advantages, like I was just saying. Real estate investors can take advantage of numerous tax deductions from mortgage interest to depreciation, which can offset income and lower your tax liability. Understanding and leveraging tax strategies can lead to substantial savings, allowing you to reinvest more into your wealth building journey. And there's also different ways to structure your business, whether it's LLC, C Corp, S Corp, um, and all those different things that can help you shield yourself from different tax opportunities. Maybe also becoming a nonprofit. But that's for you to look into and really decide for yourself on what's the best strategies for you and where your income is at and where your revenue is at for your business. And always, what do they always tell us? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify to protect and grow your wealth. Diversification is not just all about putting your eggs in one basket. It's the practice of spreading your investments over different asset classes to minimize risk. Stocks, bonds, real estate. Sprinkle a little bit in here. Have a nice percentage gap, maybe 40% here, 30% here, 20% on the next one, or vice versa, 50, 30, 20, you know, um, however you want to do it. But a well-rounded portfolio includes a mix of asset types such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and even commodities. When one investment class underperforms, another may outperform, keeping your overall portfolio balanced and smooth sailing. And then there's international investments. Don't limit yourself to domestic markets. Global investments can offer additional growth opportunities and reduce risk by spreading your assets across different economies. And always check in with the regulations of these different places, but that's also a powerful tool. Diversification isn't about just avoiding risk entirely. It's about managing effectively so that your wealth can grow steadily over time. And remember, wealth building can take time. This is a steadily drawn out process. Remember to always invest in stocks, real estate, compound that interest and invest in your own business, invest in yourself, your ideas, your products, your service. Learn how to automate those, outsource different things, get the right people on your team. This is a process that's gonna take a little time, but by doing all that, investing in yourself, leveraging tax advantages and compounding your interests, you can set yourself on the path to long-term financial success. Diversi diversification, ensures that you're never going to miss because you got an egg here, egg here, an investment here, an investment here. This one failed, this one grew. You're always growing. You're never staying stagnant and that can grow your wealth sustainability. If you found these strategies helpful, definitely always tap into this channel, Midas Minds. We're here to turn thoughts, passions, and ideas into gold. I'm Tyrant 333 and above all, always remember the mind is powerful.